I'm Udaya Kaluri, and I'm a staff scientist at the Akrish National Laboratory. I work in the Biosciences Division, and um, I'm a plant biologist. My work centers around making biofuels sustainable, and it is important to do that environmentally and economically sustainable so that biofuels is a valid alternative fuel we have in the portfolio, energy portfolio for this country. Um, two big reasons, um, energy independence and um, also to um, reduce global warming and uh, reduce the CO2 pollution. For the grand challenge we are working on, it is important to understand how plants grow, uh, put biomass in the stem, and um, how the cells in the biomass, in the stem biomass, divide, um, how the cell walls um, in the stem um, develop, and how the cell wall chemistry and architecture is determined. All that is important to understand because um, that directly affects a, a real um, barrier we have currently in making biofuels an economically feasible option. Recalcitrance is the major issue that um, I and a team of 200 others are studying um, under the Bioenergy Science Center, um, which is funded by DOE. And uh, recalcitrance is um, biomass's um, innate um, characteristic to resist degradation to produce biofuels or bioproducts. And um, in such a case with the currently available biomass crop, we are having to use uh, greater enzyme loadings, um, harsher chemical treatment, um, and um, higher temperatures in the pretreatment, which is all uh, not energy efficient, is not cost effective, and uh, produces a lot of process waste that needs to be uh, dealt with as well. So we are looking for a biological solution to this by um, understanding the characteristics of biomass. It's such a way that we can um, use that knowledge to improve the characteristics of the feedstock crops so they are better feedstocks going into the biofuel production process. So when we started out with the Bioenergy Science Center project. It started in 2007. We started without any understanding of what types of genetic makeup or underlying um, molecular processes may be important to the recalcitrance trait of the biomass. For that matter, we didn't even know uh, how we could define recalcitrance. We've come a long way. Uh, if you compare where the field of cell wall biosynthesis and um, understanding of uh, biomass properties is now compared to 10 years, um, we have a tremendous uh, level of insight now and that's because of the um, evolution in our field of research in plant biology. Just the uh, excellent high precision, high throughput genomic and genetic tools that we have right now to study the systems at the molecular level. And then at the phenotypic level, which is at the structural level and the chemical level, we have tools um, that allow us to study at the nanoscale and angstrom level. For example, I can use a tool such as uh, neutron imaging um, to study what's going on inside of the plant, non-destructively, in situ. That's the level of understanding that we really need as far as uh, chemistry and structural features of the cell wall and biomass go when we talk about recalcitrance. It's the coming together of the biologists and the computational scientists and the engineers, material scientists, neutron scientists. It's really a cross-disciplinary approach to this um, long-standing grand challenge um, that is helping us make uh, rapid strides. We're really excited about the progress we've made on the research uh, front. And we hope that uh, we would be in due course, work really closely with industry to realize um, the research, fundamental research breakthroughs we've made in the commercial domain. So um, in the end, uh, biofuels is indeed a viable option for this country.